Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton, Adult in 95 which is another Transformers Legacy video, and today we're taking a look at a figure that I've kind of been lukewarm on, but still excited to get. Uh, mostly lukewarm because of the lack of retooling, and that is going to be R.I.D. Universe Sideburn. So, yeah, the only thing new as far as molding on this guy is the head. Everything else is just repainted. Really wish they would have at least changed the, the waist piece or these fender pieces just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a Dodge Viper, but just something a little bit different than Shadow Striker would have been fantastic, but oh well. 18 steps, robot vehicle mode. You can use the bumper on the blaster to mimic the old toy, even though that's not the right blaster that the bumper goes to. Either way, there he is charging into battle with his roof shield his weird half or symmetrical face with the half visor so yep so there he is and let's go ahead and check him out and here we have rid universe sideburn out of his packaging and looking all right like again i've said before i'm very disappointed in how little they've changed with this guy and just you know the fact that he's got no pinstriping on the outside of his flames are just kind of these ghost flames kind of irritates me uh, just some other details lacking in like the forearms and the lower legs mostly in the feet they i believe they should be white or blue with white or blue or white and black uh, accents but yeah i mean compared to what we're getting with uh omega prime this is kind of a slap in the face so i don't know i don't know what hazard was thinking not changing anything with this guy other than the head and the paint and kind of lack thereof but it, it's fine like i don't hate it but i'm not over the moon about it either like exist i'm happy that we got a new sideburn but yeah as far as accessories go he does have his shield that uh on my copy of Shadow Striker is broken, so yeah, I will be very careful with that. I, I was even careful with the last with Shadow Strikers too, and somehow it just broke. It does have his blaster that could be used as a sword. I'll probably be using it as a sword more with him uh, because I'll have this on his shoulder. There's a way to do it, but you got this piece. It can touch his arm. You can make a little bumper blaster out of it so it shows on the packaging so we got that so like i said i like to store it right here on the shoulder so you can do that and then i believe on the original toy was on his left arm just plug that in there hold that down and give him a little sword blaster here. And look, you can use blast effects, make it a uh, a flame sword. You know, because side burn. But take a look at the head sculpt. It looks fairly accurate to the character. I wish they gave him a smile. I don't know why we can't get characters smiling anymore with Hasbro and Transformers. Like everyone's super serious. Except for Animated Bumblebee, like, he's one of the only ones we've gotten that has any sort of smile on his face. Like, we can't even get Starscream with a smirk anymore. We can't, unless it's, like, screaming, you know, in the middle of dying or shocked at an event like we had with uh, Skywarp and Dirge. We just don't get any expressions anymore. Just It's always just straight-faced. Like, come on, Hasbro, where... I mean, for characters like Sideburn, he needs to have that kind of mischievous smirk or something. Just a smirk, even. Like I said. But anyways, getting in onto paint details. His whole thigh is painted white. Don't know why it wasn't molded in white. It just seems like a waste of paint that they could have used somewhere else. Like the pin striping for his flames, maybe? I don't know. Come on, Hasbro. Like, you've got... White paint here, you got here, here, here. Like, why couldn't you just open the gate for white on the thighs? Especially since the way the knees plug into the shin, or the shins, or the thighs plug into the knee, 
it kind of just starts flaking off. I don't know. I don't understand Hasbro's decision on some things and other things they do fantastic at. So, I don't know. Do get the Autobot symbol there. You got silver and red here on the chest. Do get silver and red there on the waist as well. Silver rims, which we'll talk about more in vehicle mode. Here he is with Shadow Striker. I've got a render form weapon as well as one of the weapons from the Centurion drone pack. because She is a sniper type character. I believe. And then, yeah, the broken uh, window piece. I just got a bunch of super glue and it's just barely holding on. So, yeah. So, we'll get her out of the way. We'll compare him with the previous official sideburn through the Collector's Club. So, yeah. Sad that this one does a better job with those pin striping. Ugh, I'm not going to let that go. It, it just irks me that they couldn't be bothered to do that on this character. Then here is BotCon 2024 Custom Class version. Again, maybe stickers, but at least it has the pinstriping. So, we got that. And... Here he is with last year's offering of tow line. So two kind of disappointing versions of R.A.D. characters. And, you know, they kind of shared scenes in an episode together. I mean, most of them did anyways. But at least these two had more than like two seconds of screen time together. So there is that. Go over articulation. His head is on a ball joint. You do get... Hardly any range. So you do get some up and down on like... Oh, never mind. Shadow Striker had it too. 360 at the head. Do get, of course, forward. Nothing back. All the way out and up with the shoulders because they're mounted on the back of the figure instead of through the body. Don't know why they made that decision. Bicep swivel. Elbow gets 90. Wrist swivel. Waist swivel. You can get the backpack here out of the way or not even backpacks just more like back panels 360 all the way forward all the way back all the way out do get a thigh swivel 90 at the knee and feet go up and they can pivot or tilt whatever so yeah there's that let's go ahead and remove his weapon so we can get him into vehicle mode just like with Shadow Striker, we'll go ahead and fold the feet up. Pull up here on the chest, flip that all out. Flip up this little centerpiece to form part of the hood of the car. Open this up. Put this all up like that. this up and around make sure the knees plug onto the thighs there from here rotate or untab these from the spine piece just make sure those five millimeter pegs are facing up and this whole section up now we'll just tab into there. So get on this side, up like that. We should all just tab in. Open this up. There are tabs here on this back piece that go into the feet. Just like that. Close up those panels. And then the forearms just plug right onto those shin pieces. So there is majority of the vehicle mode. Let's fold this up like that. Actually, it's just better to have it straight up and down. Plug it in on whichever side.
if it helps any, just kind of push down, or actually it's actually a little bit easier just to bring the arm up, plug it in fully, bring it down, kind of straighten it out by grabbing down here. There we go. Oh, come on. Just fold that up. You want to just tab in on either side. Come on. that forearm keeps pushing up. And just tab this back onto here. There we go. Both sides. It keeps wanting to pop out. I did not have this many problems when I first got him. There we go. There he is, finally in vehicle mode. Don't know why I'm having troubles with my brightness here. Yeah, so there he is. Rolls just fine. Take the weapon, plug it on the top here or at the back, or just, you know, leave it off to the side. Now, I did also get these little hubcap pieces from TF Lab on Etsy. So there is. Now we'll just go ahead and plug these in right here. And they still roll just fine. Here's just little 3D printed hubcaps that cover up those clips. So they're not so unsightly. And there we go. So, yeah, still rolls just fine. Now, real quick. And here we have Sideburn with Shadow Striker. And, yeah, I get the colors, you know, some of the paint additions. You know, just, I guess, the flames here on the side. And here on the side of the uh, side of the hood here. Do look okay, but, like, in some lighting, you're not going to see them at all. Like, you can't see them at all like that. So, very disappointed that Sideburn had no new tooling. They could have changed this to better fit, you know, just have a flush front end instead of looking like the Cyberverse uh, Shadow Striker vehicle mode. But they didn't. So, there she is with her. Here is tow line. Now, I did change this around because... With the hook like this, you can actually now get them towing sideburn for violating no parking signs because no parking means no parking. So there is that. And here he is with the previous version of himself, which again dwarfs him and the Botcon 2024 custom class version. So yeah, I just need to track down an original one. I did have one at one point, but I sold it. Because I didn't think we were going to be getting a new one. I mean, I should have kept it for that very reason. But I don't know. Logic wasn't working. It's still not working right now. Other than just how disappointed I am with this. So let's go ahead and get back into robot mode. Now that being said, I don't... Again, I don't hate it. It's just... Could have been way better. So I hope Toy Hacks can redeem him some. I know they can't change the molding. But hopefully some stickers... Change them up will help. Does that open that up? Go 
open these out to the side, just like that. Allow you to undo legs here. Bring that out, down. It'll then allow you to bring the arm out to the side. So, oh, I'm gonna do that. Bring this down. Turn that around. Bring that up. Bring this other arm out. And I guess since I'm gonna be playing him with the shield on the left arm, I should have swap the peg holes around. Again, I'm just swiveling it by the nylon actual plastic hinge instead of the translucent plastic. Hold up the center chest piece, just like that. Pull these sections up, bring that, or just leave that as is for the moment. Straighten out the legs. And there is a hinge here, two hinges here. Bring that down, up, like that. Close up this whole chest assembly if it will cooperate. What the hell is going on? There we go. So there is that. Bring down the feet. Strain up the legs. section back like that and again just for how I like to display them I'm going to take this little slot right here onto this tab right here where it plugged on before I'll just sit right there and give them this blaster and there we have sideburn in robot mode which like yeah it does look much better in robot mode, especially in this kind of configuration. But again, just some net picks and things that kind of irk me about this mold and some of the design choices. This is a sidearm. It was a secondary weapon that plugs on his back and it still does. You got the port there and or peg there, port there. So you can store it away. But he should have had another blaster that this would attach to. Yes, I know we can homage it with this, but it should have been its own thing with the bumper. And the arms, I just, I don't like how they're pinned onto this. Like, I don't know who designed this toy and why it turned out the way it did, but I'm sorry. It's just, it's not great. Like, it looks better as sideburn in robot mode, but the vehicle mode definitely belongs to Shadow Striker. Like, she... She wears that vehicle mode a lot better than Sideburn does. So that, that's pretty much going to do it. I'm going to stop complaining and whining because I, I don't know. I just need to get this done and out of the way. Should have gotten it done a while ago while it was still a new toy. Just, yeah. One of my more disappointing purchases this year. One of the very few disappointing purchases. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out those links down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, so long. Take care.